Omaluego Cool Progress Initiative has congratulated the president elect Walatinibu and his vice and taxed them on true federalism and gender inclusion in their administration. The OPI president, Mrs. Guinea Kato, made the call at the Ibukwenu Day in celebration of the victory of Asiwaju and Shetima in Abuja. According to Tor, the group worked hard to ensure the victory of Tinibu against all odds, even though they faced discrimination and oppression. We are here to celebrate the victory of Asiwaju Shetima. We were the Igbo group that came out very strong to support from the beginning, even before the campaign we went on six geopolitical zones. And we are happy that finally our dream has come to pass. You can imagine what we faced. Intimidation, ostracization, discrimination, all kind of oppression, but we survived it. So we are here to say thank you God for making this day possible and we are celebrating our father and our mothers again to say as they come on board, we know we had promised the people, especially for gender inclusion, especially for youth inclusion, especially to ensure that the country is going to run in a, in a way that everyone will be happy and bringing unity through federalism back to Nigeria. That we have promised the people and together we will join them to ensure that these same promises come to pass. Dr. Jude Idimogu, member, Lagos State House of Assembly, said that Tinubu, as a man of the people, will work for all because he does not discriminate. As well as Bola Tinubu does not discriminate right from day one, even from where he started those days in Lagos. When you look at Lagos, he has a lot of Igbos in his cabinet, including myself. I'm a honorable member and I'm one of the apostles that also believe that Shuaju, that also helped. Joe Ibokwe is there and some, even the other white people. So for the Igbos, I'm telling you, you can see I've already nominated somebody that might also be, she's here, one of them is here, going to be the deputy speaker. Any of them that wins it, good. That's to tell you that he has a good mind where Igbos are. And I believe that irrespective of whatever that happened, Ashwaju is a man that wants total inclusiveness. So Igbos will have opportunity in this government. Also, Mrs. Miriam Onoha, member, House of Representatives, Imo, said the election of Tinibu was a dream come true, which marked the unveiling of a renewed hope. I want to thank all of us for coming today to show solidarity with us on this great occasion to celebrate the victory in the Igbo way of Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Shetima. This is a dream come true and indeed the unveiling of the renewed hope in Igbo land in Abuja. I want to use this opportunity to thank Ashiwaju the promise keeper for keeping to his word of mainstreaming gender and women inclusion by nominating myself to be the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. I want to call on all Nigerians, Nigerian women and youth constituency and the vulnerable which I represent to join me to thank Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu for being a promise keeper. His word is his bond and he will never break his promise. This is a renewed hope an assurance, especially the expectations of Nigerian women and youth, has not been cut short. The group expressed optimism that the Tinibu-led administration will appoint more women and youths in governance as well as in ministries, departments and agencies of government. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,